Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a quick get ready with me video. So this is a basic look on what I've been doing with my pan that palette items and my project pan items. So this has pretty much been my everyday look. My last few videos, you've probably seen me wearing a similar look to this. This is pretty much what I've been doing most days for the last two or so months. So if you guys are curious about what I've been wearing or how I've been wearing my project pan items and my pan that palette items, just keep watching and I'll show you guys how I get the look. So I already did my face makeup just to get that out of the way to go a little bit quicker. So I use the Jouer Matte Moisture Tint, and this one is in Linnet. I've been using this for the last couple of months. I've been trying to use it up in my Finish 7 by Spring. So that is my base. And then I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder in Fair. So this is my powder here. I really, really like this powder, but I feel like it goes really fast for the price of it. But I really do like this powder. And then, like, I did my under eyes and whatever. I've been using kind of random products on my under eyes, so... My base is done. Now I'm going to go in with my Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush. This is the F40 and my Benefit Hoola Bronzer. And just bronze up the contours of my cheeks and around the edges of my face. So then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush because my other one, my Real Techniques ones that I usually use is wet because I washed it last night. And I'm using my Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Plum Wine. This is in a project pan, but it is not my favorite. I feel like it ends up getting a little bit patchy, and it doesn't look as nice as some of my other cream blushes. So this one I might not keep until I'm completely done with it, um, just because I don't like it as much, and why waste time with things you don't love? I don't like the small stippling brush as much as I like the Real Technique ones. Real Techniques ones. But this one works. Then I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Multitasker brush, or Multitask brush, and my NARS Laguna blush. Or NARS Orgasm blush, not Laguna blush. And I've been enjoying layering blushes lately, so I'm also going to go in with the Mark Good Glowing Mosaic blush in Hush Baby. This I've had for years, but it's one of my favorite, favorite blushes. It's so pretty. It's just a nice peachy glow. Sometimes I feel like I overdo it a little bit with a blush, but... It's fine. Whatever. Then I'm going to go in with the highlighter. This is the Benefit What's Up highlighter. I'm still trying to use this thing up. I'm going to go along my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and then right under my cupid's bow. And then I blend that in with my fingers. I got this NYX Stroke of Genius palette a little while back, and it's just got a bunch of highlighters in it. And so far, I like it for the most part. It's pretty. I'm going to go in with just this like lilac colored one and my um, Real Techniques contour brush and just run that along the high points where I just did my highlighter. I like to kind of set it with a powder as well. All right, now for eyes. The first thing I do is I go in and I prime with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I finished another one up fairly recently, so I've moved on to this one. And then usually right after I do my eyeshadow primer, I go in with my NYX Milk Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil. Just because if I wait, sometimes it gets a little bit cakey. And I have to be really careful with how much of this I put on because it can cake up kind of easily. Um, this pencil is not my favorite thing ever, but I use it. It can go from my lid to my brow bone, which is kind of nice, but sometimes it just doesn't always set as nicely as other pencils that I've used in the past. So after I blend that out, I usually go in and I do my brows. I've been doing my brows the same way for a while now. Um, so I basically just comb them out and then I go in with the color Sable from the Lorac Pro palette. I've still been working on this one. So Sable is right here. Still working away at it. And then I just use this random My Glam brush that I got a while ago um, from an Ipsy bag. So when I was first subscribed, which was when they very first started. And then this one just gives kind of a nice reddish tint and defines my eyebrows a little bit. So it's nothing too amazing or anything. It just, I feel like my hair has kind of a reddish tint to it, so it helps blend it in just a little bit. Even though my brows need to be trimmed because they're going crazy. I'm going to go in with the Anastasia 
clear brow gel just because my brows are a little bit longer right now and I need to trim them. And so just to keep them in place a little bit better, I'm using this one. When I don't want to worry about them being in place so much, but I want them just set a little bit, I use the NYX one, but this one keeps them in place a little bit better. All right, now for my actual eyes. I have been doing my project pan and using stuff up. So before in my project pan, I was working on using up these two colors, which are lighter colors in the uh, Mad for Moth quad, but those are gone. So I moved over to the Clinique Color Surge Eyeshadow Duo, and this one was in pink tweed. This one may be discontinued, I'm not sure. Um, but I've been using this one here and then this one. So as I get started today, I'm going to be using this one all over the lid. And then I'm going to go into the crease with this one. So this one, all of the shades of my eyeshadows have been pretty much the same tone. They've all been kind of a light, dusty, like mauve-toned type of situation. Um, so none of them have been too terribly different. But this one has a little bit less shimmer than some of the other ones did that I was using before from the Maybelline Quad. These are all older eyeshadow quads and trios and stuff, and so they're a little bit more powdery than I'm used to because they're older, but they still function. You go through them a lot more quickly because they are more powdery, obviously. Now I'm going in with this one. With This is the Sigma All Over Blend E37, and this one I'm just going to go into the outer corner. And with this, I've been using my Naked Basics palette as well, so I tend to start with this. And then I do some of the color and then I mix in my Naked Basics palette. And I usually have to like dust in the inner part because they've gotten shadow on them. Now I'm going to go in with this color from the Mad for Mauve Quad from Maybelline. And then just darken up that outer crease. From there I usually need to blend it out a little bit more so I go in with my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I usually start with this one right here. What color is that? I usually start with Naked 2 right here and I use that to kind of blend into the outer crease and then into the crease a little bit further and this kind of prevents it from being too intensely red toned or pink toned so that looks a little bit more natural. This one also is a little bit pottery or maybe it's just this brush. Then I usually go in with Walk of Shame and then layer that a little bit higher so that the crease transition is a little bit more flawless and there's not as there's not as noticeable of a spot right there. Then I go in with Foxy and I usually highlight with that one, so this one right here. And I usually just use my finger to do this highlight and blend it out a little bit. Sometimes, depending on my mood, I go in with Venus and I put that in my inner corner. Today I'm not going to because I just don't feel like it. But it's a pretty simple eye look. This is what I do most days for my eye look. And then I go in, I've been using Urban Decay Smoke Out, which is just a like brown eyeliner. cat is walking through the blind so if the lighting is being weird it's because Theo is messing everything up always. Next, I usually go in with my Sigma E30 pencil brush, and I take the burgundy color from this quad, so this one right here, and I kind of smoke out my lower lash line a little bit. And I usually just do that on the outer corner, and then I go in with the Clinique, Clinique one. Yeah, you can totally see a sun spot because of Theo. Um, and then I go in with the Clinique bronzy color, and then I go in a little bit further with that one. So then I go in and I'm going to do mascara, so I'm going to curl my lashes. This is just a Tweezerman eyelash curler that I've had forever. I'm 
I've really been enjoying this mascara combo recently. So the first one that I almost always do is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. So first I just do that on my lashes because it's waterproof and it holds a curl a little bit better than most of the other mascaras that I try. And then I go in with the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara and a lot of people talk about this I don't know that I love this on its own and the brush is kind of weird, but I actually really like these two layered together. I feel like my mascara stays nice and curled when I use these. And it doesn't get too clumpy. For lips that I've been doing recently, I've been trying to use up this Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner. This one is in Rose Quartz, so I've just been lining my lips with that. Which, I don't know that this lip liner is amazing. I really don't... I really don't have a lot of experience with lip liner. So I do that first, and then I go in with my CoverGirl Jumbo Pencil in... I think this is like Ballerina Twist. I don't know. I will leave it, all the products linked down below. I usually call that good, but today I'm going to use a gloss because I feel like it because I like these glosses. So I'm going to go in with this pink gloss. This is the Fuchsia Flicker by Baby Lips Gloss. I've raved about these before. I'm gonna call that good. So this is my pretty much everyday makeup that I've been using recently with my Project Pan items and my Pan That Palette items. So nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy, just my basic look. So I always finish off with spraying off with a makeup finishing spray. This is a Maybelline Master Fix one. I actually mixed some of my extra Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray in with this because I had a little bit left and it wouldn't come out of the pump and I like this pump better. So I always finish off with this. Theo has joined me, can you see his tail? So that is it for my finished look. So I'm still a little dewy, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for any looks you'd like to see, or if you have any questions about any of these products, let me know that in the comments below. I'd love to answer those questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.